Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. The government of Jamaica is planning to increase the number of tax offices on the island. Speaking at a graduation ceremony this week, Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark said as part of those plans, work will be done to improve the Crossroads Collectorate. The biggest build-out of tax offices in Jamaica's history in a way that can service the public. We will be delivering a new tax office in Crossroads, five or six, five, six or higher floors high, that will serve members of the public in a meaningful way and in an improved way as we put customer service at the front of the agenda. To some company news now, Cygnus Capital has closed a 25 million U.S. dollar construction deal in the Bahamas. Now, the private the public-private partnership with the Bahamas Striping Group of Companies is to fund a 45-mile highway improvement project for Exuma. This is Cygnus's second public-private partnership with Bahamas this year. The project is expected to be completed in 2024. Now, Cygnus says the project, which will include site preparation, infrastructure and construction works, is expected to generate up to 100 jobs. And the Delta, Delta Capital Group has signed an agreement to acquire the credit card portfolio of Barbados-based Massey Cards. The deal was disclosed at the Fintech Islands, the Fintech Islands Conference in Barbados this week. Now, Delta says payments have been finalized for the transaction, which received regulatory approval in September. Massey Cards has 30,000 credit cards issued in Barbados. Delta's executive chairman, Zachary Harding, says the Massey Cards will eventually be transitioned to the MasterCard platform and rebranded as Delta Pay. Cardholders would then be able to access global financial services. He says once the transaction is complete, Delta plans to add healthcare services to its payment structure via its telehealth platform, Delta Health and Wellness. Spur Tree Spices Jamaica is set to acquire majority stake in local tin products manufacturer Linstead Market Jamaica. The company registered as Canco Limited has executed and entered into a share subscription agreement and a share purchase agreement. Now the transaction dated October 3 will result in the company holding a 51% interest in Canco. And let's head to the markets today. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $154.15. $113.06 is the going rate for the Canadian. $174.39 for the pound, while it's costing an average $151.93 for the euro. The JSE index grew by 1,745 points today, while the junior market index lost 21 points. Among the winners were... First Rock Real Estate Investments, Sagicore Select Funds Financial, Caribbean Assurance Brokers, Caribbean Cream and Dermont Trading Company. Other decliners included JMB Group 7% shares, Productive Business Solutions 9.75% Cumulative Redeemable Preference shares, ISP Finance Services, CAC 2000 9.5% shares, and JMB Group 7.25% shares. And that's it for the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.